Josephine Decker. I'm the director of the feature film, The Sky is Everywhere. Amazing. Hi, I am Daniela with Young Entertainment Mag. Josephine, it's so wonderful to sit down with you today. So thank you so much for having us. When did you first learn about The Sky is Everywhere? How did this project fall into your hands? I, my agent, Megan Oliver at Paradigm sent me the script and I fell in love with it. I was like, I have to make this, I have to make this. It's about classical music. It takes place in the Redwood Forest. It has an unconventional family dynamic. And like very importantly, it's about this really intense, profound experience of a, of a young woman who's lost her sister, which is at the heart of a very beautiful, playful, comedic, romantic uh, exploration that, that is a coming of age film. So I was just like, how does it hold all these things? I have to make this. <laughs> that's amazing. It is such an incredible combination of so many things. And I feel like that's so rare. So that's amazing. Um, was there one scene that stood out to you that you were like, I can't wait to get to work today and direct this? Oh my gosh. Um, there were many scenes that I was very excited to direct. Honestly, one of the ones that I was probably most excited about was we had plans to do uh, a scene in one shot, which was that um, Lenny is thinking about her sister, Bailey, who feels like this like perfect person. And Bailey is walking um, down the street. And it's funny because we had actually been written that she's just walking down the street and the sky changed the colors. But I was like, oh, I think this should be a dance sequence. So we brought in the choreographer, Faye Driscoll. We made a dance sequence. We rehearsed, they, they rehearsed all morning. And then we got to like do this really fun dance sequence that turns in the same shot into Lenny answering the phone and talking to her sister. And you realize that this has all been in her mind. She's just having a really bad day. Everyone around her is also having a really bad day. We just had a lot of fun with the theatricality of that sequence. And it was super fun to pull off and really felt like we'd all come together to make something happen. Oh, that is so fun. <laughs> is there anything that you learned either from the storyline or just working on this project in general that you plan to take with you to your next project? Oh my gosh. I learned so much making this movie. You know, I really learned something that I think Lenny also learned, which is like, trust yourself and um, you have more power and authority than you realize. And I think I didn't really know, like <laughs> I like I had such a supportive team around me and that I didn't even realize I was trying so hard to make a movie. This is the biggest movie that I've made. I, was I thought I was like trying to make a bigger movie with a bigger audience. And, and ultimately they were like, this is your movie. This is like, this is your Josephine Decker movie. Like what is, you have to be true to yourself. And I was like, huh, you would think I would know that, you know what I mean? But it's so easy to not give yourself permission to feel like you are, your voice is allowed. And so just like Lenny is sort of like, feels like she's allowed to be herself and allowed to make mistakes. I think I was like, oh, I'm allowed to just make my weird choices and that could be okay. That's probably the most important thing that I learned. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so powerful. Um, and one last question. What was it like collaborating with Jandy Nelson? Oh, wow. Jandy Nelson, the writer of our book and script is such a joy. She is like a magical fairy tale creature herself. She's so like energetic and funny. And um, I just love getting to know her and getting to crawl inside of her mind. This is a very personal story for her. So we spent a lot of time together so that I could kind of like rip open her brain and understand the world that this all came out of. And then she was so supportive and loved playing and always gave great feedback. We rewrote a lot of the um, poem voiceovers after the fact. And she was, she's just like such a creative, brilliant writer and um, like so accessible and very emotional and um, poetic as well. Oh, that's amazing. You guys are definitely the dream team. Oh, well, thank sweet. you so much for having me. And it was a pleasure talking with you. Nice to talk to you too. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.